Hi guys, Mr. Murphy here again. Time for our third part for standard 7.RP.2 ratios and proportions. Uh, this big standard is recognizing and representing proportional relationship between quantities. And this third part is 7.RP.2C, representing proportional relationships by equations. For example, if the total cost T is proportional to the number N of items purchased at a constant price P, the relationship between the total cost and the number of items can be expressed as T equals P times N. This sounds really hard, but all of this stuff on the bottom was just an example. We need, just need to know represent proportional relationships by equations. So we're going to figure that out. What is an equation? Well, that's anything with an equal sign. And in this case, a variable equals a constant rate times a variable. So we have y equals 5 times x. Remember from the last lesson, 5, the number is a constant because it never changes. And we have two variables. And, and this is the form the equation will always take. Um, for a proportional relationship. It can always be made into y equals 5x. The letters might change. t equals pn or t equals 5 times n. <clears throat> uh, so those might change, but as long as you have a number in there and you have a letter equals a number times another letter, that's the equation we want. So for example, Michael Phelps swam 30 laps in 10 minutes or 3 laps every minute. What is the equation for the number of laps you can swim per minute? So it's 3 is our constant because that's 3 per every 1 minute. So we're going to let L equals the number of laps and M equal the number of minutes. What's our equation going to be? Well, we have two choices if you're not paying attention. Uh, we have two variables, L and M, and we have a constant of 3. So it's either going to be L equals 3 times M, or it's going to be M equals L times 3. Which one do you think it is? Three laps every minute. <clears throat> so the laps is going to equal 3 times every minute. So if he swims for one minute, that's three laps. So 3 times 1 equals 3. If he swims for 2 minutes, that would be 3 and 3. That would be 6 laps. So 3 times 2 minutes equals 6. If he swims for 3 minutes, that would be th 9 laps. So 3 times 3 is 9 equals 9 laps. <clears throat> so let's take a look at what it looks like in a constant table. You can see on this table... Um, there's two ways to find the constant. If you move left to right, it's always increasing by 8. Or if you multiply, divide the y divided by the x, 8 divided by 1 is 8. 16 divided by 2 is 8. 24 divided by 3 is 8. So our constant is 8. So y equals 8 times the x. So 1 times 8 equals 8, 2 times 8 equals 16, 3 times 8 equals 24. <clears throat> so there's the relationship between multiplication and division. Uh, the constant is always 8. You're multiplying or dividing by 8. <clears throat> to identify the constant in a graph, in this case it's y equals 3x. So if you start on the bottom at 0, if I go up 3 and then move over 1, if I go up 3, I move over 1. If I go up 3, I move over 1. So the y value is always going to be 1, 2, 3 times the x value. <clears throat> so the x value is going across and the y value is going up. So you see where it says 1. If I do 1 times 3, I get 3. 2 times 3 is 6. Here's my 6. And 3 times
times 3 is 9. So the constant in the graph, every time it goes up by 3, it goes over 1, y equals 3x. So in summary, you find the constant proportionality. Uh, the dependent value equals the independent value times the constant. So you have y, x is the independent value because you choose, do I swim one lap, do I swim two laps, do I swim 50 laps? You choose how many laps, and then the time it takes you to swim <coughs> uh, it de depends on how many laps you swim. So thank you for listening. Have a great day.